Oh yeah, welcome back universe to Tom and Mark Off the Rails, episode 21, first ever 21st episode. We are coming to you from Highland Tower Studios in beautiful Cedarburg, Wisconsin. And we have a special co-host today. What? Yeah. Jeff Krieger. It's <laughs> my third appearance. There you go. So you know it's extra special today. You're the first three Pete. Oh yeah. Just ringing up the title. Jeff Krieger, that. three Pete. It's also <laughs> a weird coincidence because that's the name I use every time I talk to a cop. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. That's weird because I always say I'm Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just in the same amount of trouble. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, let's get to some announcements. Unfortunately, Universe B Train did not win America's favorite crossing guard. Aww. Aww. She's still my favorite crossing guard. She, She's ours. She is the Universe's favorite crossing guard. Some girl from Michigan won it. Boo. I know. What she should have did was tell me in advance, and I could have went over to Michigan and done some sort of sex scandal with this lady. And I just... thought you were going to say, hit some kids with your car? Or what? Nope. I'd have laid my... You're the worst crossing guard ever, lady. I just hit two nope. kids. Hit her with my dark blue eyes and bang her right on the stop sign in the middle of the road. Boom. B-Tray moons up a spot. I know how to... The sign says stop, stop. but her eyes say... <laughs> <laughs> No. That's a super rape when the lady is actually <laughs> holding up a stop sign. <laughs> I thought she said, no, don't stop. Yeah. I, I just, was, no. I write, That's don't. the back side of the stop. sign says. <laughs> <laughs> don't <laughs> stop. Oh, shit. I took my sex sign out for the crossing guard this morning. <laughs> All the guards are, don't stop. <laughs> just no. tanking over kids. What do you do if you're driving and you see a sign that says, don't stop? You're just like, uh, I'm, so, I'm so fucking confused right now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. Next announcement is Cougar is back. Yes. Spotted in Brookfield. I spot him in Brookfield all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we're not talking about that. Uh, Different Cougar. Different Cougar. No, they got way better video. This is Universe. Don't worry. We're going to get a Is this the Pornhub videos of Cougars or am I just still on the same? Well, that's for the bonus material. That's for the bonus material. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Oh, that's a deer. It is. (laughs) It's a deer playing with a cougar. <laughs> they're just playing. Oh, they're friends. <laughs> all right, you guys. Uh, his, all his now, where did we cougar. see the cougar last? Uh, Colgate. Was it peeking in a window, or is that what this footage is? This is the peeking in the footage. Okay, we saw it walking, like night vision cam footage of it walking down a street or something. That was Colgate, I thought. Colgate, right? Yeah, Colgate. Washington County. Yep. All right, so the cougar is now in Brookfield. Check out this picture, guys. Here is the cougar. Look at this. It is up on the person's window, peeking in like a peeping Tom. I saw, yeah, I saw the video. It's adorable. It's adorable. Just a fucking man eating cat I think peeking the, in the, the window. The DNR said it's like, oh, it's only 50 pounds. It's not that big. Yeah. As far as cougars go. As as Dude, cougars. a nine pound house cat can fuck your day up. <laughs> so, cougar is back. All right, Universe, and since we got Jeff fucking Krieger here, Jeffy Pooh, he is in for our red carpet special. That's right. We're going to go over the um, Oscar nominations. I'm a big movie guy, so this is what I want to do, and you're all going to listen to it. Yep. And Tom did some research, and he found us a fun Oscar-themed drink. Best drink ever of the week. It is called the red carpet. Mark, Mixmaster Mark, so give it up. The recipe here is need a cup of pomegranate juice, three tablespoons of grenadine, uh, three tablespoons of orange simple syrup, uh, standard kind of recipe, half cup sugar with, oh, this one says half cup of orange juice. Oh, hmm, that's a little different than the recipe I've made before. Okay. So I wouldn't call it a simple syrup, but yes. So uh, let me start from the top. Three tablespoons orange simple syrup, which is a mix of one half cup of sugar with one quarter cup strained orange juice. Heat just <laughs> until sugar dissolves and then cool before using for the recipe. Jeff is loving it. Just pounding this here. Right <laughs> you want to add some crushed ice. You want to have some pomegranate seeds. And it said chilled Prosecco, but I think we ended up using Moscato. Yeah, it I think says you can use optional. any sparkling uh, mm-hmm. white wine you like. Yes. And then Tom got fancy and did some little orange zest garnish. Yes, I did. So, yeah, we put it in a blender to crush up the ice. And, yeah, it's really good. It's it's a nice light drink. It's very so, tasty. It's very cool. fruity and light. It's a very it'd, be, it'd be perfect noon drink. for watching the Oscars because you're not going to get tanked and you're going to remember the whole thing. Yeah, you yeah. got to work in the morning, but you want to have a drink. Mm-hmm. 
Jeff, think, is think Jeff just it. killed the bottle of Moscato. Don't worry, we got two more. Because <laughs> Uncle Tom shows up with enough. <laughs> yes. So we have a. It's a great drink. We'll, we took some pictures. We'll put the recipe on the internet eventually. It does taste Yeah, Mark. What this the is fuck? my responsibility. You promise I, it every week. You I are do. letting the universe down. They want these drinks. No, I'm going to keep promising it. <laughs> One of these days I'll get to it. I My dad promised me a sandbox, but he, when I was young, he always said, when you turn eight, and then when I was eight, he never built it. And every <laughs> once in a while, I'll bring it up to him, and I'll be like, hey, you going to build me a sandbox this did, weekend? Did, did he just tell you to go down to the park? <laughs> he told me to go play with yours. That's true. <laughs> what, what about his sandbox? <laughs> you want it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So back to the regular show. We will get back to the Oscars later toward the end. We're going to go over some uh, events and get caught up. All right. I got some cool local events. Um, first of all, our friend John Deinschult will be at Comedy Sports doing his uh, workshop show Wednesday, February 28th from 7 to 9 p.m. The show is free. It's first come, first Sweet. Yeah. First come, first serve seating. It has a full bar and food, which is not free. But it's always nice to have. So it's a kick-ass improv show with students who have been taking classes for months. And it's very entertaining. Molly has been there. I was under the weather last time, but... Um, you were under the weather for like a month. I was rough. <laughs> it was a rough month. I feel it takes more to be a comedian than like a month long of classes. Um, They it's... do different levels. Oh, do they? Okay. You got to get to level four to sure. do this. It's like Scientology, man. And it's it's improv, <laughs> so they're not doing like, oh, it's, bits. It's not, it's not yeah, they're it's they're, not okay. they're working yeah. out skits live on stage, original yeah. material every sure. night. He's okay. taken at least four levels of classes at this point, I think. And then the, you keep taking level four over and over again. All of our loyal okay. listeners will know that we've tried to dabble in uh, improv, and it is fucking hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you it can't is. just turn it on. You can't? It no, is. it is a muscle. You have to work that Well, it is also hard. harder to do improv when... You're on the fucking air for your first time. <laughs> Mark, you were just dropping shit all oh over the place. God. Look at this improv. But when I went the first time and watched it, it was very good. It was a very nice, free, funny show. So that's from 7 to 9. And here's what you do, universe. Wednesday, you want to have the best Wednesday of your fucking life. From 7 to 9 is Diner's show. They have, um, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., skate with the admirals at Red, or Red Arrow Park. So it's totally free. It's at Red Arrow Park. So here's what you do. You get off of work. You go down. You skate with the admirals. You see uh, Ryan Donato, who led the Olympics in scoring, even though they didn't make it to the medal rounds. Right. Kick an ass. You skate with him. Take your shit off. This is free to the public. Um, Take your shit off. Go over and see Diner Show. It's a fucking awesome Wednesday night. You, it's you, right in the same area. Right, it is an awesome Wednesday. But you said best Wednesday of your life, and you threw in going to work. <laughs> I mean, best yeah. Wednesday night. Oh, best Wednesday night. Oh, okay, there you go. Just clarifying for you. Best Wednesday. It's a yin and a yang thing, you know. You gotta have some. I guess my some Wednesday, pain with your that, pleasure. That Wednesday, I'm gonna. Well, be what in, if uh, you're a porn star and you got three chicks? Oh, I gotta fuck all day. Oh man, I gotta fuck all day. Then I'm gonna See, go skate with the Emeralds. That sounds a lot then... more like work than. <laughs> Me actually going to my real job. Oh man, you're getting old. <laughs> Pretty much. I remember the day you'd have fucking gave a nut to have that job. I probably still would. <laughs> so yeah. But he'd bitch about it. I, but I'd bitch about it, correct. Uh the players will all be wearing special jerseys with their nicknames that will be off auctioned off via gesture. Cool. I don't gesture I think is a company. So all proceeds go to the Power Play Foundation. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry, but I'm guessing it's a ch- lovely charitable. It's a lovely charity. Yeah, I could look it up, but this computer's being a dick right I'm now. I'm going on a limb and guess. Uh, it's uh, encouraging kids to play, do stuff. So, free skating. Uh, there are skate rentals if you don't have your own skates. Uh. It was remodeled in 1990. The ice rink can fit around 100 people at a time. So you'll be out there with a bunch of snot-nosed little fuckers. And it's right next <laughs> well, to Well, Jeff can teach the universe how to body check their way through a crowd of skaters. <laughs> Jeff's the only guy that gets a five-minute major on skating with the admirals. <laughs> ben, ben. They have to build a penalty box if Jeff is showing up to skate with the admirals. 
Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Two kids are going to come up for Ryan Donato's autograph, and Jeff is going to throw off his gloves and sucker punch him right in front of him. Just hey, Ryan Jersey. Donato bled on me, man. Sign it. <laughs> um, Actually, I think Ryan Donato would probably tune me up. Yeah? He's, yeah, he's a little bit bigger than me. That's why you got to sucker punch him, man. You got to get in there first. <laughs> Cheap shot and motherfucker. Gonna blitz him. Yeah, hit him from behind, sucker punch him, and blame it on Mark. <laughs> Blame it on the nearest little kid next to you. Dude, that was him. You I'll, I'll kick this kid's ass this for little, you, man. little redhead kid right here. <laughs> I think his name was Tom. <laughs> Tom, where'd you go? What? Uh, and, uh, well, uh, Universe, we have been getting bigger and bigger. Thank you very much. Let's uh, thank you. We got some bigger numbers, and now we have some more advertisers, so get ready for some commercials. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, our numbers are big enough. We are now sponsored by Amazon and Audible. Uh, so that's really cool, but you know what, Universe? We're a Midwestern podcast. Don't you know? Don't you know there, hey? Um. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, We're looking at the numbers, and our number one downloaded city is San Francisco, California. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's kind of weird, you know? Um. Well, thank you, everybody out there in San Francisco. We love you, too. You're welcome to... Yeah. Yeah, I... It just seems odd that, you I know, think, we're... I think we should have a parade in San Francisco. All right. I just think it's uh, really cool that possibly the people that escaped from Alcatraz are listening. Could be. That's why they escaped. Isn't there like one person? No, three people escaped Three from people Alcatraz. escaped. And, you know, one day the dude's like, I got a hunch. In like 40 years, <laughs> these guys are going to put on a podcast and it's going to be awesome and we got to fucking hear it, man. So Let's get out of here. So you're saying our number one city has three listens? <laughs> <laughs> no, we got thousands, man. It's crazy. I, know, I, I like to make fun of us, Universe, because yeah. I like to self-deprecate. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I am I am surprised how well we're doing. When Tom yeah. asked me to join this podcast, I'm like, oh, great. My mom can listen to it. Yeah. And that would be our, our only listener. But no, we're actually getting pretty good numbers. Yeah. I am really impressed. Thank you for listening. I'm showing. We're glad um, to have you. All the different countries that are listening to. Like, yeah. Oh, you guys are international now. Yeah. We're big in England. We're big in South Japan. Korea was there once. Yeah. Japan. B F D. Yeah, it's it's amazing. So thank you very much. Uh hopefully we're doing something right and anytime you got any suggestions, we have taken them from listeners before yeah. and changed it up a little bit. We if, could do a podcast in German. Uh, Mark could do one in German. Mark can do one in German. We'll get. Uh, <laughs> Who would have thought two guys? My German's terrible, by the way. Two guys in the in an attic doing a podcast, just scratching their balls and talking about bullshit, would be international. Yeah. Hey, we give the people what they want. <laughs> All right, and uh, we did start a mailing list slash newsletter. Uh, what we're gonna do is about once a month. I won't fucking bombard you with shit and flood your email because I'm lazy. So we'll give you like updates on the show, future guests, topics, where we're gonna be. Like tonight, we're going to we're going out to see Wayne's comedy, and special live events that we're planning. Which put this in the pipe. July fourteenth at Jackson Park, we are having a listener appreciation day because we're doing so well. There's going to be free food. We're going to do a live podcast. We should have a band. We might have a comedian. Might have two bands. We're going to see if we can get some friends of the show to come on and, and do what they do best. Interviews. Jeff right. will be there. I ain't got shit going on. So I ain't got, that. Yep. I'll free food. There. Jeff's in. I'm thinking we'll start it. <laughs> food and beer. We got Deal. the, I mean, we can have hundreds of people here. Uh, we got the whole park all day. We'll probably start it at one just so we can get everything set up and everybody situated. And... It's not going to be fancy food, you know. I'm just going to make burgers, hot dogs, brats. Of a, a Nesco with a bunch of brats in it or something. Yeah. Tons of them, though. I'm going to make a bunch. So it's going to be a very Midwestern type event. Everyone's invited. It's free. You just got to bring what you're going to drink. I'll have bottles of water, but... I'll bring beer. Bring beer. Bring coolers of beer. All you want. Bring a tapper. <laughs> and if you want to help out, go donate. We need some money. We'll make it better. We're, we'll spend it all on this awesome event, Universe. So... That's our thank you to you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's gonna... Even if no one shows up, you know, hey, I'm going to have a private performance by a band and I'm going to get <laughs> drunk in the park. <laughs> awesome. Until so they kick us out. Not the first time I've been drunk in a park. Yeah. Hey. Or, or the second. <laughs> Tom, are you drunk in the park again? <laughs> again. Again. 
My name's not Tom. My name. Jeff. My name's Jeff Krieger. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's over there, apparently. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to some of our current events. Let's talk about uh, the Olympics while it's going on. Real quick, medal counts. Number one, Norway with 38. Number two, Germany. Wait. Number two is Canada now with 29. Germany has 28. USA moved up the fourth. Yay. We passed the Netherlands. With Suck 20. it, Netherlands! Fucking take it! <laughs> yeah, America's doing terrible <laughs> this year. Well, it's the Winter Olympics. We don't I have... Know, but we should be leading. We're one of the biggest countries well, in the world. Like, it should... You would think, statistically, it would be Russia... Well, I guess not Russia this year. Uh, China, OAR. America, and the OAR. Yeah. Well, Norway. But it's all the Northern European nations. Well... Year-round snow, basically. And mountains. Yeah. So. They actually ski to get around. <laughs> <laughs> like, to go to school. Yeah, I have to go to the grocery store. Where are my skis? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, the Russians, that let's talk about that. The OAR, they were banned. But not banned. Not, for doping. Yeah, some of their athletes got banned, and uh, the ones that passed got to participate, I guess. Okay. Well... This guy got caught doping on the OAR. There's a couple people, actually, that got caught doping. What? Again? There was one bobsledder. I, I'd have to... Again, I don't speak yeah. Russian, so I'd have to look up her name, but... We she, wouldn't be able to pronounce it anyway. Russian right. Gurlovich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was actually, like, a week before, she was wearing an anti-doping shirt. And she oh, got, I saw that. And lady. she got busted for doping. Oh, way to go, lady. She's trying to blend in. Well, <laughs> this guy is right. a mixed curler. And he's doping. What do you need to dope in curling for? That's a lot of uh, broom work. Women, hey. <laughs> Uh-oh, let me get this right. Uh, I wonder if he's just done, like, heart meds or something. <laughs> nope. You want to know why women are better curlers than men? Why? Because it involves screaming and sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did Jeff know about the soundboard? No. Oh, I got some sound. <laughs> I think that's what makes it right now, <laughs> is, is, the, is the soundboard. Yeah. All right, so uh, the Olympics was kind of being nice, and they're saying, you know what, Russians, you guys have been behaved, so we'll let you, in the closing ceremonies, hold the Russian flag. Sure. And then they got caught doping, and they're like, what the fuck, guys? No, no, you can't hold the Russian flag. Oh, no. we were cool. Dude, oh, we, we were, were cool. Oh, we were back. Give nope. it back. Nope, so now they can't do that. Anyway, we got Jeff. You wanted to talk about the Hungarian skier. The, the U.S.-born Hungarian skier. Yes. What is the she made it to the Olympics because of a uh, people were calling it a loophole, but I it's just how the rules are set up. She she qualified for all the she had enough points, okay. the world championship points, correct? Elizabeth Sweeney. Correct. I think. Yes. There's going to be some rule changes next time. I'm sure. Yeah, right. Okay. I'll uh, elaborate on this a little more. She's she lives in America. She's American. She was born in, I believe, Venezuela. So she's one of those dual country people who could participate in, yes. in either country's team. So what like happened if your parents is, were Canadian, you could also be in the Canadian. Alliance. Right. Her grandmother's Hungarian. Hungarian. Okay. That's so how she qualified. Oh, okay. Yes, because you can only send four uh, half pipe skiers. Right. But you have to qualify in the top 30 in certain worldwide events. Yep, in a sanctioned event. Which she did. She only went to events that had less than 30 skiers. So, what's the problem? She, so she the qualified, rules. and the, Venezuela had a full team, U.S. had a full team. She bent the rules to say, well, my grandparents are Hungarian. Hungary's like, well, we don't have a team. Okay. We'll send you. Sure. We'll send you. And she went. Let's see if this actually plays here. She did absolutely nothing. When so? She, she went down the pipe. She didn't fall, so technically she got points, because if you fall, I guess you don't get any points. Yep. So she went. She got the minimum she, 30. Right. So she got the minimum 30. So technically, she's an Olympic athlete. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, she is. She's she like also, Eddie the Eagle. She also actually ran for governor against Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, I have that. She's she done crazy 19. shit before. She's like, I'm going to take yeah. on the fucking Terminator. Well, like yeah. a dozen people ran against well, him. Right. But like people were complaining that this is this shouldn't happen. This well, shouldn't if, be. But if Hungary is willing to send her. And if there's a, a loophole qualification, she followed all the rules. I don't see what the problem is. Right. She, 
It's not like she pushed out someone else. Who no, correct. Well, there didn't was, go. There was people that didn't go because of injury and stuff like that, or just couldn't. Well, there was, was there like a Hungarian athlete who's like, oh, no. I can't go because of this silly American lady. No, no. Yeah, uh, I don't was, think I don't nope. think Hungary was even putting us a, a team in because no. of it. But she, yeah, she qualified, so she played by the rules, and everyone's yeah. like, well, she went you can't up, do that. turned down, down. up. Turn she, down. She did zero tricks. She, she didn't even attempt little. to get any she like height. Jumped a little. Go that her. was just cent- or force <laughs> pulling her off. She I am had proud no of her. You're proud of her? Yes. Why? Because she got into the Olympics fair and square. She did, but yeah. now shit's changing. <laughs> that's fine. You can okay. change the rules that's, if you want. But she did play by the rules. But she, yeah, she didn't break any rules. She no. didn't cheat. She didn't dope. She, that's true. She got there on her own talents. She did go to other but countries she was to participate rich. in some of these events. Well, you have to. Right. To, like if you're, to get the world championship yeah. points that you need or something like that. If you're from a country on the ec- on the equator, you know, you don't really have mountains well, or snow. Right. Well, I guess. So, I mean, Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica put a bobsled team in. So, I mean, like, uh, in the movie, Eddie the Eagle, he did most of his training, I want to say, in Germany. Yeah. Because he's British and they don't have any mountains of enough mountains to have a ski jump well i mean the south korean hockey team has like four different canadians or something on their thing and they're actually like canadian but they have a dual citizenship because they're promoting yep. the game so they got to be on their olympic team so i don't see a difference in her participating and so that know, combined with the oar should we just stop having a nation and just say these are athletes right i mean this one happens to be from america this one happens to be from Nah, that would take out the pride and no one would watch right i just feel guess what tom no one's watching (laughs) (laughs) hey i watched the hockey i know she just wanted to be in the olympics but now she's always going to be known as that chick that (laughs) now she's famous now she's she's bar trivia yeah but she, yeah, she didn't know. cheat. That's the thing about it. And, you know, she just sucked. Maybe yeah, the Olympic athlete awful. who uh, got into the Olympics and ran against Arnold Schwarzenegger. She said she could do like seven twenties and backflips and shit on her practice thing, but she wasn't comfortable doing it on snow. Well, because if she falls, she doesn't qualify or anything like that, so she never did. Well, she knew she wasn't gonna win a medal. Well, right. So it's, she just wanted. It's to not finish. like she came in there and be like, "Yeah, I'm taking the gold." Shit. Step aside. Move. Well, you know. All right, so, well, I mean, she, she played by the rules. I think that's commendable. Congratulations. Yeah, so, you want to make Elizabeth the admissions Sweeney. tighter? Make it harder to get into the Olympics? Yes. Yeah. Like, you probably... They, they need to put, like, a point. Like, dude, if you... Because I guess 30 is the lowest. She scored a 30. Mm-hmm. Well, if you make it 30, 35 points, then she'll just do, get 35 points. Well, she skied backwards at the end. She there will always be style. people who do the bare minimum in yeah. this world. You, even in the video, you can see some people just kind of rolling their eyes going, Jesus what Christ, the fuck fuck what the that? hell did we just watch? They're just jealous and they didn't think of it. That's true. <laughs> well, you need the money. She was rich. Yeah. What's the problem? She had to like <laughs> right. get on a chartered flight to go to she this just last put it, thing. But she just not... wasted a lot of money. Right, but it's not <laughs> like she... Okay, she technically kind of bought her way into the Olympics. She did. But... Well, winter sports are expensive. My brother's a curler. Curling ain't cheap. No. You have to rent the facility. You have to buy all that equipment. I think well, I told this on the podcast. He wanted me to join his team, but it was just too expensive. Don't those stone, those stones are only made in? Like, they are from Scotland. There are artificial stones you can buy for right. unofficial play, but all the stones in the Olympics are from a one quarry in Scotland. Right. Because if it's not Scotch, it's crap. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Disagree with you. Because... <laughs> well, that's the Scottish logic behind it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, oh I just... no, it's gonna be from this quarry. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm not Scottish Universe. You can hate me and call me a racist. There you go. I <laughs> uh, just want to say congratulations to the uh, women's Olympic oh, team. Oh, wait a minute. The the women's hockey team. hockey team. Yep. Gold medal finally Sweet. beat the 20 years. USA. Finally USA. beat those Canucks USA. in a shootout, yep. an extended and shootout, 80 minutes of excitement. Yeah, it was a good game, actually. It was a lot better than watching the men, actually. Yeah. Men shit the bed. Yeah. Millennial women, man. They're butch. Yeah, <laughs> loving it. They'll kick your ass. That's awesome. All right, so Lord is coming on March first. Lordy, Lord, sweet. And we are not talking religion here. <laughs> nope. At the BMO Harris Bradley Center, uh, she's Randy Marsh's dad. Or <laughs> she is Randy, Randy Marsh. Marsh. Yeah, she's Randy Marsh. I actually uh, really like Lord. I like it's a, it's a new sound. She sounds fresh. I love it. I get why the kids like it. It's something totally different. The it's kids. Not, it's not heavily like, produced. So. You're such an old fan. I am. I like this lordy girl. She's pretty. 
she doesn't wear too much makeup. <laughs> she actually has a pretty pretty unique style. I like yes. it too. Yeah. I also agree with that. Get into a phase of my life where I just like things that are different. Right. That I've never heard before that are That's derivative. Not the same old shit. Like most pop music is formulaic. Oh yeah. So if you wanted to start a boy band, there's like ch- books and chapters on how to do it. How to start so, a boy band. Yeah. So it's nice to have someone out there who's doing new things, breaking new ground. All right. Yeah, Mark. Mark approves of Mark, Lord. Of Lord. <laughs> well, it's got Mark's seal of approval. Fuck, I should go. <laughs> All right. So, Jeff, have you heard about the new restaurant that's coming? Uh, they are doing... Is Why, it, is this is a it, restaurant it, in Menominee Falls? Is it, an, is it an Olive Garden? No. Oh. <laughs> it's a Red Lobster. No. Love it. no, 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 no. Hold on. Oh, God damn it. I just had you and your free breadsticks. Oh, have you been to uh, Fazoli's? Lux, Lef, <laughs> or, love Fazoli's. Lef's Lucky Town has bought the old firehouse in Menominee Falls, and they are turning it into a Ghostbusters bar. Yeah, I was, I, <laughs> oh, That's so, the first thing I thought of. So Lef's, fucking... Lef's bought it, and they're going to turn it into a whole bar and stuff again, eh? Yep. But they are receiving $170,000 dollars. Of taxpayer money. Is it a because it's a historical building? I am not sure. They it's that's a two the, million dollar. Conversion. I mean, that's the only way I could see that happening is if it's a protected building. It or says some historic shit. twelve thousand foot okay. building. So they're on Appleton Avenue. Okay, so they're okay, so they're doing a. It's a historic building. Um, the village board last fall approved plans to sell the building for one dollar to Leffers Group. Really, the village hoped to receive. A quarter million in Wisconsin Economical Develop I th- to help finance it and a $79,000 grant. I think it's great. Lefts does a good job down at their other establishment. Um, usually frequent yeah. that bar when I go to brewery games. Mm-hmm. But Never been kicked out of that bar, so that's a, that's a plus. Well, that's good. Right. If I do, my name's Tom. There you go. <laughs> do you think um, the taxpayers should be on the hook for a private organization? Uh, I mean, it's, well, what's, what's the site look like? Is this because they're trying to develop the area? Is it like a TIF district? No, it's on Appleton fucking Avenue, dude. Well, they're still trying to revitalize that, aren't they? I'm not that familiar with Menominee Falls. I'm I'm not either, so I mean, that's. I go there, but I don't know the street names. I'm a visual person. I drive through it quite a, you know, every now and then. But I mean, if they're trying to redo the the area, I, I don't see a problem with it because bringing in new business is going to generate more revenue for the city anyways taxes yeah. taxes and fuck that we're gonna be awesome i'll outbid left here two bucks we're gonna make it the new highland tower that's gonna be our studio give us some taxpayer money we're a private organization we might make more money than less with the way we're getting big are you serving beer and food all right do you have a drink in your hand Touché. There are mushrooms downstairs. <laughs> Touche. Touché. <laughs> Renfair style mushrooms, so not good. those kind of mushrooms. Oh, yeah, they smell so good. I want them. Yeah. So good old crackpot mushrooms. There you go. So why not? Why not us? Why not anybody else? Because Lefts beat you to the punch. No, this was an inside job. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is going into your conspiracy yeah. theory stuff. Well, this is a hard hitting journalism right here. Sounds like it. I don't know. I just don't. You don't. Kind of, kind of like the Bucks thing i didn't like that they built the stadium with taxpayer money oh they, these guys are billionaires they can afford it they also built miller park with taxpayer money they I didn't like, with the i've bucks, never though, stepped is... foot in miller park no the bucks will be like once. we're moving later bye there you go it's called capitalism i thought that's what we were but people yeah. i i don't care for basketball it's not but, my favorite sport but people in milwaukee want milwaukee teams yeah the, anybody that has uh um, but they can afford it. look how many teams strong arm their cities into building the marinas otherwise they're going to take off because they do generate that much revenue you know i mean look at shit what happened with the the rams they left because st louis wouldn't build them a new new arena okay there that's capitalism working perfect right but if you're that city and you want to keep that in there you're gonna have to just do it you want part of eight really good tourism sundays part part doing business where people are coming from all over the state to your city for eight days a year sure more if they make the playoffs. Yeah. Possibly. Maybe. If, they if they're host. not a six seed. I just don't think it's right using taxpayer money for a private organization when they can definitely afford it. And I think people... You pay taxes in Menominee Falls? I don't pay taxes anywhere. Oh. Not that 
<laughs> I'm Jeff Krieger. I don't fucking pay taxes, man. <laughs> Great. Now I'm going to get a call from the IRS. Be like, so we heard this on your podcast. Yeah, they're already on the phone. We didn't even listen <laughs> right. to You're getting run. No, I just, I think people really don't understand the difference between a million and a billion. These people are billionaires. A pile of money is a pile of money. How many, or how long is a million seconds? 13 days. Is it over now? 13 no. days. <laughs> how long is a billion seconds? Uh, 130, 130 days? 31 years. Oh, yeah. 31 years oh. compared to 13 days. Fuck me, That's no how man. fucking big a billion and a million is. So if you're saying these billionaires can't do 250 are million extra dollars. Are we talking about the restaurant or are we talking yes, about the no, Yeah, the, the principal. <laughs> We're talking about I don't think Lev's lucky is a We're talking about government giving money to private organizations that can afford to do it on their own. They don't need this money. In from general, us. I agree. There's just some tax or some accountant. If it's such a great that, idea, you don't need government money. Yeah. True. It's like they were trying to get um what was it? Pabst something or other they were trying to develop that. They wanted to get Milwaukee to kick money in because it was going to be this great entertainment district or whatever. I'm like, well, if it's such a great idea, why do you need this starting seat? Why can't you get loans from banks if this yeah. is such a great idea? Oh, and that Bucks loan, they pay 0% interest for 13 years. Well, again, that's to keep the team because the team is a commodity and the team will walk. And the team's going to do nothing because none of the players want to come live in the shit that's outside this window right now. It's Wisconsin weather, man. You just, can go play just in the Miami. other day. I had to kick uh, a tentacumbo out of my barn because he keeps sneaking in there to use my stripper pole. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay. a, yeah, universe. There's a stripper pole in my barn. Stay classy. <laughs> yes, that's oh, better than in your bedroom. Thing, He's got I two think. of them in his bedroom. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> he had three. He just couldn't fit the third one in the bedroom. It's a four so post bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I just. In general, I'm against using tax dollars to help businesses, unless you're trying to revitalize like a shitty area. Well, not if it's all public. If it's all out in the open, I don't think it's illegal to right. incentivize. Are they going to pay it back? That's, but that's, no. It could be a TIF district, which is, I forget how that works. There's some sort of... So you're going to use taxpayers' in. money so I can go pay to be at this place. That's about the size of it. I, if Emperor Mark was in charge of this, it would not be going down <laughs> like this. Okay. So you're not going to go to this place and support it? No. I might stop and check it out. But, but don't buy anything. But don't, don't buy yeah, anything. Don't right? buy anything. I'm just going to loiter. Unless it's on sale. <laughs> yeah. This should be free. I'm paying for it anyway. Only happy hour specials. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, Universe, it's probably going to be cool because Lefts is cool. But, you know, the I'll probably go there. But the principle of it is they sh- Lefts can afford this. They're already given $2 million, that extra 170000 It might be that Lefts wants to go somewhere else, and Menominee Falls is like, hey, Lefts, we want you here. Does nobody understand how... Ca- this is how it's supposed to work. I know. it. Well, yeah, they're both sides are bartering over something. They both got positions of power. He already bought it for a buck. Yeah, I can get part cop- of the deal. You know what? I'll give him two bucks, and I'll just go in there and strip the copper, and I'll make thousands. There you go. It's not millions. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a pretty good <laughs> investment. Yeah, but, you know, you constantly have revenue coming in as a bar. I'd have a fucking sweet-ass rave party there, too. <laughs> I've been to a lot of raves. You do that in a cornfield. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be serving those drinks. We can't keep Jeff away. No, you can't. All it's right. pretty tasty. So, yeah, the libertarian in me agrees with you, but I bet you they're trying to revitalize this area or something weird like that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. And it helps to know people. This is America, after all. Yeah. It's not who you know, it's who you blow. <laughs> <laughs> that's also true <laughs> <laughs> yep <clears throat> alright well we'll get off that And are we ready for uh, Oscar special uh, well I got a quick news story for you oh uh, Jeff's got a news story yeah, fucking A pump the brakes pump the... Is there a... you have a button for that <laughs> awesome um, actually this is about a local brewery here in town Uh-oh. your, your fermentorium oh, on Cedar Brewery, Wisconsin 60. that's a great place they are going to be opening uh, it sounds like they have plans to open the government's new... giving them four million dollars <laughs> Sounds like they're going to be opening a, a new tap room and barrel house uh, at North Avenue in the in the beautiful town of Wauwatosa. Sweet, oh. out in Tosa, out in Tosa. There, uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, their their beer. Yeah, everything I've had has been great. Um, a couple of local bars carry it. Uh, you can go to the brewery itself and get which it. They do trivia I'm on probably Wednesday. Probably going to stop yeah. on the way home. Cause, yeah, yeah, get a growler, good. take it home. I have a bunch of growlers, but yeah, I'll stop there. And, you know, huge fan of their of their beer. Fun um, fact, in Britain, a growler is a woman with an unshaved uh, swimsuit area. 
<laughs> I have a British friend, and he was over. Why would she shave her titties? And we were like, <laughs> no, her vagina. Uh, and we said, hey, let's go over to the bar and get a couple of growlers. And he's like, uh, what? What kind of fucking <laughs> bar do you guys have over here? We might try to have uh, him on. Um, he's a good friend. Yeah, we got to get him on. He used to do um, ventilation for like old castles and shit in, okay. in England. But he sold his business, and now he's moving to America. Yeah. He's sick of the growlers. <laughs> Just chase them out of, chase them out of the country. There may be a woman involved. Just saying. Okay. So yeah. that's uh, that's pretty big. You know, Fermentorium's expanding, and that's cool. That's, it's huge for him, I guess. I'm not a dude. They could have bought the the firehouse. Yeah. Two stories. How much uh, stills can they put in there? What? I don't know. I don't math well. Remember, we just talked about this with one mil- one million and one billion. The Fermentorium yeah. is a pretty big facility here in Cedarburg. They have a yeah. small bar, but you can see they have big windows. You can look and see all the vats and everything. Yeah, I got so. a buddy that works there and helps brew and does all that good stuff. Cool. So uh, quite proud of him. I think he's going to be down there. And like I said, I like what they're doing. Why don't you go grab him now? Come back with I a few could. growlers. I'll see what they yeah. Interview him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Any other stories we want to get to quick? Nope. All nope. right. Well, um, here is to the main event. The main event. Boom, boom, boom. Red carpet special. 